Dozens and dozens of family homes once stood on these empty plots here in Ingham Street, but they were knocked down to make way for a redevelopment scheme. However, those plans have been put on hold for the foreseeable future. The developer, Lowry Holmes, freely admitted in a statement this week the economic climate is to blame. What local people want to know is this. What happens to the space where 104 homes were supposed to be built? If you look at the area now, yeah. and then you look at the state of the area, yeah. what's going to happen in, in a uh, 12 months or two years' time? What do you fear will happen to it? You'll get sly tipping, yeah. you'll get uh, cars being dumped, you'll get tyres being dumped, you'll get all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. And it's not only that, it, it depreciates the, the area. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, it's... I mean, look at it. And it's not just Berry that's been affected. This development on the edge of the Mancunian Way in the city centre has been on hold for many months. Meanwhile, over in Ancoats, work on this block of flats ground to a halt a year ago. And on Monday, a fire broke out in the basement. Over in Berry, Derek Linklater fears there's no end in sight. They promised us it'd be the start of this year, January. Mm. And now it's been put on, on, on hold. What's, what, what's the, the solution now? I mean, are they going to say in five years? The fact that this scheme has been put on hold is obviously a disappointment for everybody. The people who gave up their homes here, Berry Council, and of course the developer Lowry. But in the current economic climate, the big and perhaps unanswerable question is this. Where might it happen next? I'm Kevin Duffy for Channel M News.